Yeah, my dad was a Green Beret. He was like a fucking war machine. You wow. know what I mean? But he also, you know, he just had a lot of scars as a person because he um he unalived himself when mm-hmm. I was fifteen. And I started finding out like a lot about his past after he died. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. The nigga from New Orleans, too. I didn't even realize that that gave the nigga the icing on the cake. I was looking for the nigga anyway, man. <laughs> Jason Mitchell is in the building. Yes, sir. Stop playing. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me. No, bro. thank you for coming, nigga. No, too easy. Too man, easy. let's get too to easy. it, man. I'm going to tell you, man. Like I said, this is inc- this right here was very important for me mm-hmm. because of, we done interviewed everybody from Lonzo. Everybody talked about that damn movie. We done. Right. And I talked to a lot of different people that played part in some people didn't like what the way they did it mm. some which is crazy did. yeah you niggas dig some fly stuff we gonna get into it guys yeah. check it man Mr. Mega let's go okay I like to know you as a person yes not always what you do yes. so um, you were born in Germany from what I understand yes yes I was born in Würzburg, Germany my sister was born in Kitzigan I'm an army brat you know okay. what I mean oh, my so mama, yeah around. my mom when she fell out of college and shit it was like <laughs> fuck that I need to I need a change you know so she she got in the army and um how long were you in Germany for oof, just a few years like I don't I don't really remember it that much um I moved to New Orleans before I like I don't really have so to. So you can't speak German. German. Can you no, say no, 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 no. you got good Morgan or some nigga a Vito seeing something? Nigga? You know what was crazy? <laughs> I, I moved to Belgium when I was in the second grade because we okay. came back to New Orleans because my mom and daddy ended up splitting up or whatever. So we came back to New Orleans till I was in like the second grade, and then we moved to Belgium till I was in like the fifth or sixth grade, something mm-hmm. like that. So I know more French. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 I don't know no French. Jack. We no we nigga. Okay, 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 okay. What did you just say? I speak French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not too crazy, you know. Not I know enough crazy. to get me around. Maybe buy a baguette. Oh, okay. <laughs> to, rom- to romance a girl. Yeah. Oh, you know, know. you know the females love Were French you in now. France? I was. You knew how to talk to a woman. Yeah, but you know, listen. <laughs> they like that American pitch when you over there, don't you? You know. I, I don't know if I'm way too American or way too, you know, but some things I'm not quite used to, you know. And in France, they not really big fans of deodorant. Oh. I heard that. Yeah, it's, it's heard- like it's kind of like that in Germany, too. I'm talking about beautiful women okay. smell like a dumpster. So they Whoa. do. So it is Damn. fun. But so, from what I heard, they're not a fan of deodorant, but they like that natural scent. They, yeah, they love into it. it. They into it. They love they into it. it. But what is kind of interesting is that... Uh, they don't mind being naked, like in public. Yeah, you know what I yeah. mean. So I it's like that. you know, like where so we used to live was like on on posts, right, on government right. housing. But then right across the fence, you know, it's people who like, you know, they they just regular homeowners and they just be in their backyard, just naked. Like, and how old were you when you were there? Um, I, I, how old are you when you're in the second grade? So you were a kid. Were yeah, a kid. I was a kid. But were we, you we peeking over the fence? Were you oh, peeking over? Absolutely. I'm seeing all the French see, cities. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's Maybe crazy. Maybe rocking the 70s bush and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. how old were you when your parents split up? Because you said you came back. Was your dad also army? Yes. Oh, yes, so they yes. both was military. Yeah, my dad was a Green Beret. He was like a fucking war machine. You wow. know what I mean? But he also, you know, he just had a lot of scars as a person because he... um. He unalived himself when mm. I was 15. And I started finding out like a lot about his past after he died, you know, because he had burn scars from like the top of his thighs wow. to the top of his feet. But you didn't know all this as a kid? Well, I, I did. I knew about the scars, but I never knew how he got them because he, he always would tell us random stories. And we like, this nigga lying. You know, when you mm-hmm. told this person this story, this mm-hmm. person this story. You know, so me and my sister knew that he was lying, but we never knew how it happened for real. But when he passed, we found out that he was taken from my grandmother at like seven or eight years old because she threw a hot pot of grease on him. Wow. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So he, yeah, it changed him. I think he joined the army just to, to kill it. motherfuckers. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, that was yeah. the mind frame he was in. He wow. just had a lot built up in him. Did he mm-hmm. go to war or anything like that when he was over there in the army? Do you know that? Um, I, I I just know he was a Green Beret. And I know them mm-hmm. people, uh, you know, they 
he was a paratrooper and shit. Like he didn't he didn't see some action. Yeah, the reason why I say that because a lot of people they talk about the trauma after going over there with the war and you have to come back. Cause right. I had a friend that I remember she ended up divorcing her husband because she said and she was military too, but right. so I would think that they would be able to talk to each other and understand. Right. But she said he started doing some crazy stuff and you know, yeah. just couldn't do any and yeah. when she broke it off, he ended up trying to stalk her. So she had to do the whole restraining order, all of that oh, sort yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was the same thing with my dad. Like, really? like my mom had to slip away first, you know, and she would, like, come visit us at school and that type of shit. And she was like, you know, I just want y'all to know I'm not trying to leave y'all and X, Y, Z. You know, and then um, she ended up bringing us to New Orleans. <clears throat> so who raised y'all? Because if she my was mama, gone... My mom, well, my, she okay. left us with my dad at first, but she okay. had to get away because they was getting into it too much. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, when she did end up bringing us to New Orleans, my daddy, of course, knowing... The whole family, you know what I mean? And a lot of people used to be scared of my daddy, too. So, you know, niggas, he shivering when he pull up, you know? Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember he had a, a a black Trans Am. Boy, everybody used to be like, oh, shit, here come Mitch, this nigga. You know, and he used to be really, like, be looking for my mama. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it was necessarily about her or just trying to see us, but... Let me ask Everywhere you this. we went, that nigga would show up, even if it was in another country. Is wow. Rob, Rob mm -hmm. Kazi your brother? Rob Kazi is my baby mama brother. But okay. you might as well say we brothers. Like, that's okay. that's my dog, dog. Like, since the 10th grade, we've been locked in. Because I actually met their oldest brother first. Okay. Because he is, like, a hell of a builder. Like, most of New Orleans East, they brother built, right? He was, okay. like, one of the first millionaires I ever met in my life. <clears throat> and um, he built Bay Bay Studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, when we was all, like, because everybody thought we was going to rap. We used to be battle rapping and shit in high school and shit. That's how me and Rob met. So, um, how old were you when you met him? Ooh, I had to be like, I don't know, maybe 15, 15, 16 years old, you know. And that was my dog, we were super locked in. But I ended up meeting his sister way later on in life. I had no idea that they were and family. fell in love. Mm -hmm. wow. they got, yeah, because it's 10 of them. Wow, ooh. Tommy, real niggas is like comedian, like, is yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's like, my dude. Yeah, so, you and, and and that's that's something I, when you kept saying that, like, dang, he ain't talking about it. So, I guess y'all just just tight. Yeah, mm -hmm. we super, super, super tight. You know what I mean? Like, I, I love Rob to death. Like, that's that's really my brother. What'd you, you know think when I mean? he came up with that with that character? And Tommy Real Nigga? I thought Did it was the funniest it? shit ever. Because, yeah. see, me, I'm real hard on, like, comedians because low-key, I've, I've always wanted to do comedy my whole life. Anybody who really know me know I'm a funny-ass person. And I, like... I laugh my way through life. That's my shit. But it just so happened that I'm I'm good at drama. So I be dying and crying in all my movies. I'm like, nigga, please. <laughs> Comedy yeah. me, please. You yeah. know what I mean? But um, you know, I went one way and Rob sort of went the other, you know, and he 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 put in a lot of work. Dog just performed in front of like fifteen thousand people. Wow. I was like, nigga, That's I was big. I was on the other end of the phone crying. Like I was there, That's you know. Big. But yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man, to see where he's come. Wow. You know? Shout out to Rob Cosby. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.